Hi students, today I am going to explain how to determine the velocity of sound at room temperature and find the frequency of the tuning fork. So, to find the velocity of the sound at room temperature, I will need a resonance column apparatus and I need a, a thermometer to measure the room temperature and I need a, a tuning fork. In this tuning fork, this is 512 hertz. And I need a, a rubber pad and I need some water. So, using this apparatus, I am going to explain how to determine the velocity of the sound at room temperature and the how to determine the frequency of this tuning fork using this resonance column apparatus. So, this pipeline is connected with this silver uh, tube. So, the, to measure the water level of the water column inside the silver tube, we can we can use this uh, transparent pipeline here. So, using this apparatus, I am going to explain how to determine the velocity of the sound. So, to determine the uh, frequency of the tuning fork, we have a, a generalized formula n equals to V of t divided by 2 into L2 minus L1 into 10 power minus 2. So, the estimate of frequency is hertz. So, what is my V of t? V of t is nothing but the velocity of the sound at that particular temperature in this T. T is my temperature. So, in this case my V of t equals to V naught plus 0 0.6 into T. So, V naught is the velocity of the sound in 0 degree Celsius. So, what is V naught? V naught equals to 330 meters per Second, this is my velocity of the sound at 0 degree Celsius. So, from the law, V is directly proportional to my square root of this temperature. If my temperature of the system gets increases, my velocity of the sound also gets increases. So, by increasing my temperature, my velocity increased by this rate. So, using my thermometer here, using this thermometer here, so, the room temperature now is 30 degree. So, the 30 degree here. So, if you are substituting this here, V naught is 330 plus 0 0.6 into 30. This gives the value of 348 meters per second. So, this is my velocity of the sound in this temperature, in my room temperature. So, my room temperature is 30 degree Celsius. So, we know what is N, N is the frequency of the tuning fork, V naught is the velocity of sound in 0 degree Celsius, T is the room temperature and what is my L1 and L2. So, L1 is the first resonating length, this is in centimeter, L2 is the second resonating length, this is in centimeter. So, to convert from centimeter to meter, we are using this 10 power minus 2. So, using this table, I am going to explain how to determine the frequency of this tuning fork. So, in this case, we have a tuning fork of 512 hertz. 512 hertz. So, using my resonance column apparatus, I am going to explain how to determine the frequency of this tuning fork. So, now I am going to pour some amount of water in this vessel. So, you are able to observe there is a rise of this water level in this pipeline. So, now there is a water level here, the same level be in this steel pipeline also. So, by varying this height of this liquid column, height of this beaker, we are able to vary the height of this liquid column also. So, now I am going to fix this here. So, now there is the length of the liquid column. 
from the top from the open end so this is nothing but our uh, closed argon pipe okay so this is my open end and this edge it will act as a, a closed end so this is filled with a, a water column so from the top end the length is 10 centimeter here so now i'm going to hit my tuning fork using this rubber pad and i'm going to place on the top of the this silver tube we should this should not touch the silver tube so there is no big noise big sound so once the system attains a resonance condition when the natural frequency of this system sorry when the natural frequency of this system is equal to the applied external frequency the sound will be maximum so this condition is called your resonance condition so now i'm going to in increase my length from 10 to 2 now the length of the liquid column is 14 centimeter so now the noise sound the the noise will increases slightly so we will adjust 0.5 or to 1 centimeter now to get more noise. <laughs> so now the height of this water water column is 15 centimeter. So are you able to hear this noise? The loud noise. So the natural frequency of this system is equal to the my tuning for frequency. So the amplitude will be maximum. The so now sound is maximum. See, are you able to hear this noise? So this 15 centimeter from the top is nothing but my first resonating length so this 15 centimeter from the top it's nothing but my first resonating length so my second resonating length is three times of your original value because this is nothing but my closed organ pipe my closed organ pipe my frequency of the fundamental node is my new one is to new 3 is to new 5. Is that get my 1 is to 3 is to 5. So the first resonating length is 1 na, the 3 times value of your second, the third resonating length. So this is in this case my second resonating length. For the third one is 5 times of your first value. So now I am going to change my value. So now the length from the top is 15 centimeter. So 3 into 15 is my 45 so near 45 will get the second resonating length so observe this see this there is a decrement in value So now the length in the liquid column is 44 centimeter. So we are going to repeat the same procedure. So at 44 centimeter, there is no big 
noise. So we are going to increase my length further. So we have to increase my length slowly. Now the value is 45 centimeters. We are going to increase further, slightly increase. Now, this is 47 centimeter from the top. See, there is a huge noise. Like you are first resonating frequency. So, at 47 centimeters from the top, we have a second resonating length. So, this is my 47 centimeter. So, at this length, this frequency is exactly matches with my natural frequency of the system. So, using this L1 and L2 value, we are able to calculate the frequency of the given tuning fork. So, using my first resonating length is 15 and second resonating length is 47. If I substitute these two values in this equation, my n equals to v of t divided by 2 into L2 minus L1 into 10 power minus 2. So, v of t we already found that. So, velocity of the sound in this temperature, in this room temperature is 348 meters per second. So, 348 divided by 2 into 47 minus 15 into 10 power minus 2. If you are solving this, we will get the frequency of the given tuning fork is 543. My actual value of this tuning frequency is 512. This is 543.75 hertz. So, this is nearly equal to my original value. So, this is how we are able to find the frequency of the given tuning fork. So, similarly we can calculate for the different tuning forks. So, if you like this video, share this with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates. Thanks for watching.